Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my second update for my Eat by Easter project pan. If you missed the intro or my last update in this project, I'll throw the playlist up in the cards if you would like to catch up. I'm just so excited for this update because I hit a major major exciting milestone on one of my products and I can't wait so let's just jump into the products. Okay so as you'll know from my previous updates I did already finish a couple of products. So the first one was my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer that is done and out the door. I am still working on my e.l.f. poreless putty, the one that replaced that one that I think performed so much better. If you missed that video where I compared the Tatcha and the e.l.f. side by side, I'll also throw that up in the cards. But I'm still waiting for it to come back in stock. I think the e.l.f. came back in stock like yesterday and I went to go look at the website and it still said out of stock. So I don't know if it came back and sold out that quickly or, or what's going on. But the next time I can actually get my hands on it, I'll probably buy two. <laughs> the next product is a foundation that I'm working on and this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I've been getting a lot of use out of this outside of my trip. So uh, my trip did kind of knock some of my projects off kilter because I didn't bring all my products with me. But for this one... I've actually been using it a lot since I've gotten back and I've realized that I really really like this foundation when I'm <laughs> let's see when I'm not going to work because if I stay home or if I'm just like running errands or going out it looks beautiful and stays beautiful throughout the day but if I wear this like I do my regular commute go to work stay for a full work day come back it still looks nice but I do see creasing so I see creasing right around here and I see some creasing around my nose it's not terrible honestly the rest of the foundation still looks pretty nice I just need to figure out how to combat that creasing when I'm at work all day and I'm honestly not quite sure why I think I'm gonna try different primers or maybe even like a um concealer under the foundation or maybe a different like color corrector I know some people use color correctors down here just like to kind of prime that area if they tend to get a creasing a lot there so that's what I'm working on next but overall I've actually been liking using this foundation and I don't know if I'm going to do it in this project probably not I might roll this over to my next seasonal project pan to actually track where the actual line of foundation is because right now I'm not focusing on using it up I'm focusing on doing just this, researching, trying it out in different conditions, different primers, different powders, everything and everything. So, so far I think this is going very well. The next product I've been using up is my last shape tape from Tarte. This is in the shade Light Medium Honey. I've gotten to the point now where I do kind of have to scrape at the edges to get some product out, but there's still plenty of product here in the tube because at this point there's nothing left like I don't know how to explain this. Something left like in the middle of the tube I have to like scrape to get stuff but not to the point where there's a whole lot of emptiness on the sides of the tube yet. And I know for a fact I can pull the stopper out and actually get in with my spatula which I still have to order a new spatula because <laughs> of the last video in the series. But once I get that new spatula I will be scraping everything out to fully use this up. I've been using this as an eye primer absolutely every day and I actually really like it as an eye primer. And it's really easy to apply, so I think I'm not going to have any issue finishing this up by the deadline, which I've already forgotten. The next product I also already finished, this is the Milani Make It Last Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It was a decent powder. If you want more thorough thoughts on it, check out my intro and the first update. My next product I actually just repressed, so it is still a little bit wet and I didn't use it today because of that. This is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 001 Transparent. So this is just a zoomed in look for you guys. I literally repressed it this morning. So that's all the product that I have left. I'm gonna let this thoroughly dry for at least 24 hours before I jump back in to use it. But I really don't have that much product left and I think I could definitely finish this up by the end. I adore this powder, but it actually got to the point where the powder broke as the ring around the pan happened, so I had to repress it. And going into my next product, this light shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, I need to repress that too, because I did hit pan on the top, and it feels like this is going to break. So before it breaks, I'm just going to go ahead and repress it in the middle of the pan the same way I did this one. And I really think I'm not going to have any issue at all using this up as well, because I use this every day to set the shape tape as my eye primer. And here's just a little close-up of what's left of that Kat Von D Shade and Light powder. 
All right, the concealer I had to bring in during my first update to replace the one that I totally messed up. And you know what, just to say, I never learned from that because I did try to depot something else recently and I ended up like stabbing my hand with my depotting tool and I got like a cut right here. So be careful guys, I'm obviously kind of an idiot and I don't learn. Maybe I'll learn now because <laughs> that actually kind of hurt and uh, I've got like a bit of a scab there. Just be careful when you're depotting things. Not everything can be depotted. You can't always get every single little bit of product out of every single product. Uh, that being said, this is a product I know I can depot and is very easy for me to use. This is the Kylie Concealer in the shade Ivory. I've now gotten to the point where I do need to scrape the sides to get product and I can see... I don't know if it's coming up on camera that well, but I can see when... Like I go to scrape product, I can see the inside of the bottle. So I think I'm also right on track to finish this up by the end of the project. Again, I know from experience I can take the stopper out and actually scrape this squeaky clean and I'm planning on doing that. All right, my last product that I'm so happy I made progress on and this was actually my original goal for this product. So for the purposes of this project, this product is now done because my goal was to hit pan. This is the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter. And, guys, look at this. Oh my god, look how big that pan is. Oh, I knew I was close. So this was actually a product I brought with me on that trip. And on the last day of my trip, I was actually getting ready to go to the airport. And of course, why do I wear a full face of makeup on the airplane? Who knows? I was feeling... I just wanted to take some time for myself and do my makeup. So I was putting this on in the morning and that's when I hit pan. So I took a picture, I'll throw it up right here, of when I first hit pan, itty bitty little baby pan, baby pan, baby pan. So since then, I've just been expanding the pan on this and I am so happy with this progress. I really think by the end of this project, I could have the majority of this very top portion just be pan. <laughs> Love this highlighter. I wear it practically every day. It's just, it's perfect. You can build it up to be blinding. You can use it and make it look more subtle and natural and glowy. And mm. I will say I'm going to be sad when this is gone, but as a product, it's lasted me a long time for a daily use product. And I've been enjoying it literally every day. So those are all of my updates for my 8 by Easter. Let me know down below if you're doing any seasonal project pans and how those are going. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.